I'm going to try to make a 2D platformer game in 10 minutes. Here we go. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is rectangle, rectangle collision. So 2D collision, axis line, bounding box. I'm going to use this. Showing how this works, it's perfect. Okay, so we're gonna take this right here and say function rect colliding uh, between R1 and R2, rectangle one and rectangle two, and then we'll have these this condition, and if it's true, collision detected, we'll return true, and if it's false, we'll return false. Okay, and now I want to create a player object. We'll say let P, we'll give it an X 100, Y 100, uh, VX 0, VY 0 for the velocity, and then we'll give it a width 30 and a height 50, and then we'll say draw. It'll be function, and we'll say um, rect this dot x, this dot y, this dot width, this dot height. Okay, so now let's just say p dot draw. Cool. And then we're going to want an update function. Update is going to be a function. And within that function, curly braces, we're going to do something with like the velocity. So we'll say v dot y plus equals 0 0.1. And then oh, sorry, this dot vy plus equals 0 0.1, this dot y plus equals this dot vy and we'll call p.update. Nice. Okay, so that's gravity. So this is gravity. And then let's create a rectangle class. So I'll say function rectangle of x, y with height. And we'll just give it a this dot x equals x, this dot y equals y, this dot width equals width, this dot height equals height, and then we'll do this dot draw equals function uh, this. Basically, I'm just going to copy and paste that, rect, this dot x, this dot y, and then I can hopefully do uh, rect1 equals new rectangle do like 500 oh, never mind, like 10, 500 520 and then I can say rect1.draw no oh, it's just too big so I'll make this 8 by 6. All right, there it is. What do I want to do here? So it's just a little bit too far down. Make it like 350. OK, and then let's try to detect a collision. So after update, we'll say Rect collide, rect colliding between P and rect 1. And we'll say if rect colliding between P and rect 1, um, then P dot VY equals 0. 
Um, Rex two is not defined. Oh, okay. okay. Change this to rect one and rect two because I copied and pasted this function and that's the terms they used. So then I'll change this to r one up here. Oh, and change this to r one as well. I'm running out of time. Uh, rect two is not defined because I didn't spell it right. Boom. Okay. And then we will say p dot on ground equals true. Let's add an on ground property. Set it to false. Initialize it to false. And then we'll say what we're only going to do this is if not p dot on ground. So if p is not on the ground. Then we're going to then it doesn't slowly move through the floor anymore. Okay. Next, in the update, I'm going to say if key is down left arrow and key is down right arrow. If key is down left arrow, we're going to do this dot vx plus equals uh, 0 0.9. And then if right arrow is down, then we will do the opposite. So actually right arrow, we want x to go positive, And so that's the opposite. And then we're going to say this dot x plus equals this dot vx. OK. Good, and then I definitely want a damping factor here. So we'll say this dot x times equals 0 0.9 so that it slows down. And then we can also say if p dot on ground. So maybe we can't move in the air. We'll probably fix this in a second because I don't think I want you to just not be able to move in the air. And then we'll say if key is down up arrow, then p dot jump is true. P dot on ground equals false. And p dot vy equals negative. And let's see what happens here. Hmm. Oh. There we go. All right, I'm going to increase the gravity here. I don't know why it has it starting with a negative velocity. Anyway, running out of time. Let's see if I can add one more rectangle. R2 equals new rectangle 100, 250, 120. And we can do r two dot draw. And then one more here with r two. No. Come on. 
Yay. We did it. Sort of.